Hello everybody. Welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Leslie Watkins. I was out in the garden today. And these are some of the colors and the flowers that are inspiring me at the moment. I know that you can't, let's see if we can turn, I want you to see these leaves because they've got a lot of red in them. So let's just put those right in there. There you go. Okay, so I know it's pretty close to the camera. This is a, this is a bigger bouquet than usual because uh, the golden rod, of course, can get up to five feet high. We've got the hydrangeas, which are great big shrubs. I've got a couple of different kinds. So I've got this one uh, variety that has these beautiful, beautiful reddish colored flowers. These red leaves are from the smoke bush. And then I've got some Rebeccia. And I think, I think that's just about it. But you get, you get the idea. So that's my inspiration today. I have a piece of the Fluid 100 watercolor paper, and I've got, let me grab my water painters, and I have my, my palette, which got a little bit smudged. As you remember, um, Bracky decided to get involved with the painting with ink last week, so, um, you can see some of the very fine strokes that he's made in my ink palette here. I'm going to add a little more color to it. So let's see what we've got here. I've got some, I've got some yellow, and I think this is this is Daffodil Delight. So I'll put a couple of drops of that. Can you? Do you hear something squeaky in the background? That is Princess Sophia Maria making a ruckus. I'm not sure what it is that she's after, but I have a very strong suspicion that she will be making an, an appearance before too long. So I'm just putting some red, yellow, and blue and um, and I'm just adding it to what's already on the palette. That's fine. And put this to the side. And then in my watercolor or my water painters, I'm just going to grab that medium brush. And today I'm going to get my plexiglass out. This is just a thin piece of plexiglass, just a scrap that I have to protect my surface here. And I'm going to give my paper a good spritz. Not, not too much because I don't want it to be so wet that I can't show you the next step today. I hope you all have your coffee. I have mine. It's delicious. All right, so I'm going. I'm going to do a um, just a all over wash. And maybe what I'll, maybe for this I'll use my larger brush just to get it started. So in the water painter set, you also get a flat brush like this. And that's just going to help me to push the water across the surface of the paper. There we go. And what I'm going for here is a kind of a autumnal impression. Okay, so I'm not just letting the ink move the way it wants across the page. Got a little 
little bit of that blue. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Told you. Okay. All right, so there, there is my initial wash. And I'm going to go ahead and blot that, take off the excess moisture. All right, and then I'm just going to put this aside to dry while we prepare our card base. So let's see, where can I put this where, where somebody's not going to walk across it? Try it right there. Okay, easy cleanup, just a quick wipe. Oops, wrong one. Okay, quick wipe. Pop the lids back on. All right, now the first thing I'm going to do is get out my trimmer. This is this card is going to be a. Um, an extremely easy card for a beginner to make. So I'm just going to walk you through the entire process. Somebody's getting into trouble over here. I have to move the... All right, this, this, is, this is what's causing the distraction right here. Okay, this is Princess Sophia Maria. She's nine weeks old. And she thinks that she's a paper crafter, but she really doesn't know how to do anything yet. She's still in training. Right, let me check my settings here, make sure this is all working. Okay. I have a piece of the very vanilla thick cardstock, and this measures eight and a half by eleven. And I'm just going to score this at four and a quarter. And then cut it at five and a half. That's going to give me two card bases. I'll put one aside for the moment. I have a medium, very vanilla envelope that matches perfectly. And I'm going to want a, let's see, I'm going to want a mat on here, so I'm going to grab a piece of the Cajun Craze cardstock because I think this is a nice autumn color and will go well with what we've got here. So I've got to cut this down a little bit. So I'm going to cut this down to four by five and a quarter. That's going to come together something like that. Oh, I didn't do a good job of folding this card. Let me fix that. So I didn't I, I didn't fold it evenly. So I'm just going to fix it by lining up my corners and then using my bone folder to make sure that that folds exactly where I want it. And much better. So this is going to go on here, something like that, and I'm going to cut this down. So I want to I want to find the area that I like best. So I think something like that. All right. So that is going to be. Get my ruler out. My ruler's gone missing. Oh, I see it. it fell down. 
Okay. So I'm going to cut this at three and three eighths, I think. Three and three and a quarter, three quarters. Alright, and then the next thing I want to do is I want to sponge the edges. So let me let me get my sponges out. These are just little quarter inch or I should say quarter rounds of a round sponge. So that, that one looks like it's pretty close. And then using my Cajun Craze ink, I'm just going to go around the edges because I don't want that white core of the paper showing. So here I'll give you an example. So if I put this on the cardstock and, and look at it from the side, um, you see that white edge right there. So if I use the Cajun Craze, which matches the cardstock, it's going to blend in perfectly. So all these, all these stamps, inks, papers, ribbons, designer series paper, everything just matches perfectly, which makes it so easy to put your ideas together. All right, so I think that's looking all right. I'm going to go ahead and mount this. So this is the multi-purpose liquid glue and it's very strong. It's non-acidic, so it's not going to turn your papers yellow or brittle. I'm going to get that mounted right in the middle. Make sure that's on there straight. Okay. So that's the beginning. Now I've got this piece left over. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use it for my sentiment and for some die cuts. So I have my Christmas banner stamp set out along with the matching dies. These are the Christmas banner dies. You can get these together in a bundle and save 10%. And I'm going to use these for an autumn theme card because all of these beautiful little sprigs will work perfectly well for autumn and there are some sentiments here that will work as well. So I'm going to start with the Just For You. And let's see if I can find that. It's right in the middle here. Go ahead and get that stamped like so. There it is. And I'm going to clear the decks here because I've got ink and we don't want another 
uh, incident as we had last week. And I've got my cut and emboss machine. So I'm just going to go into my die collection here. And see if this will fit. It's going to be a little bit long, but that's okay. I can fix that. I'll show you that in just a minute. So I want to begin by cutting this one out first. There we go. Make sure that's centered. All right, so you see that it wasn't the paper wasn't quite long enough for these banner points, but that's okay because I'm just going to snip them out and customize it to exactly what I need it to be. Go back into my ink and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh -uh, wait, I've got a I've got a kitten coming close to ink. Let me cover this up. I'm going to grab my water painter again. Now you could also use your um, one of your blends to do this or a marker, but I just find that it's so much easier to do it with just a brush and the ink. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of ink and zoom you in so you can see better. Okay, and I'm just going to recreate that shadow. Just like so. Very easy to do. All right, so there's my little banner. And while I'm at it, I can, oh, oh look at this. <laughs> she just, she just picked up, she just picked up my sponge and tried to run away with it. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit of shading on these sides so that it looks as though that's turning down a little bit. There we go. So I'm being careful not to get the being careful not to get the 
the letters wet because I don't want them to run. So I'm just going around the edges. There we go. Okay, so there's my sentiment. I'm going to put this up for a minute. And now I've got this scrap. So this is where I'm going to have some fun. And I'm going to match up some of these. Let's get this away here. I'm going to match up some of these shapes to the colors that I like. And you see you get quite a few of these. So this is a this is a good set. This is very versatile. You're going to be able to do a lot of different things with this set. All right. So now I'm going to bring back my cut and emboss machine for these things. Move this out of the way. And move Miss Sophia, Sophia, what are you doing? Oh no, look at, look at her, she, she had her mouth on that. She's got a, she's got a, a sponged muzzle. All right, you go down. I'll clean her up in a minute. this around. There we go. So now I've got all these wonderful shapes. For a variety of um, leaves and berries and twigs that now look very autumnal. I'm just going to put these aside so I don't lose anything. poke out my bit. There we go. All right. My berries. Okay, so what my idea is for the card is to take my sentiment and make a very pretty bouquet, like so, something like that. Oops. that just right. Okay, and I'm going to give this a little bit of a bend. I'm going to turn up the edges so it looks something like that. And for this I'm going to be using glue dots and dimensionals. So I've got my glue dots here. 
and let me find my dimensionals which have jumped away all right so what I want to do is I want to make sure that the center of the banner pops up so I'm going I'm going to put a double dimensional here so that it's double thickness just like that and then I'll use my glue dots on the two sides to hold that down flat And get that placed where I want it. All right. And now I'm going to continue using my glue dots because I don't I want these sprigs to have some dimension. I don't I don't want them to be um, stuck down entirely. I want them to have a little bit of shadow showing underneath them. I'm going to take my largest one, which is this one, and put this one towards the center. And that still has a couple of little bits stuck in there. There we go. Keep going. And then I have my, my berry shapes here, and the glue dot's going to fit just right on there. I'm just going to place those where I want them. Couple more. Okay, last one. Go. And go ahead and glue that down. And there's my autumn theme card. Just by changing the color of the inks and the papers. So I hope that gives you some ideas. Of course you could always add as much 
um, embellishment as you'd like. You may want to put some um, there. Those uh, what are they called? Let me grab that and show you real quick. This is the um, leaf label and amber gem combo pack. So these these beautiful amber gems might be a nice addition. I like mine just the way it is, so I'm not going to over embellishment. I want to keep it just very simple so that you can really see the beauty of the paper and the inks. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful week. I will be back on Saturday for the 12 days of Christmas. Please tune in for that. It's also going to be October 1st, which means that it's World Card Making Day. So it's going to be a special day, and I'm going to be having an extra long um, video for you on that day. So I hope you'll come by and say hi, and stay well, stay happy, stay creative, and I will see you next time.